And it's a um, it's a little tube thing here. The one that snail will be in the bottom part of it. Drill, drill. And these are drills. It's um it's called vermiculuria. I don't know what. Oh, I'm still for a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. It likes to turn itself into knots. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually two there. There's a little yeah. one right there. Uh -huh. And actually, we'll find these sometimes, like a whole cluster of them. All intertwined. You've got a, a hermit crab like coming out here. Very nice oh, yeah. And yeah. there's another scaled one. Flatworm. Yeah, one of these worms. And there's a, another two. A lot of times, like I say, we'll collect shells when we get orders. This here is a little sandworm called Savalaria. And this one's called Hydroides. If you look at the tip of it, it's more white, which means it's fresher. You know, it's growing. So and these worms these. have have a pla planktonic phase as well. Absolutely. So we'll see them in the in this thing here. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. There's people that make their livelihood off of identifying larval stages. I mean, I, I wouldn't even know what a larval <laughs> worm would look like, let alone you know through different stages of it. And all the different crabs. When you start trying to identify certain species of fish, it, it's amazing. So anyway, Savalaria and Hydroides are some worms that we saw a lot of. Embryology, when that course starts up, I guess this week I think they start, they, they order, you know, Hydroides. We'll go get, you know, like a hundred of those that are all fresh, stuff for them. And uh, even some of the Savalaria will be more. These are the jingle shells. Every, whoops. whoops. Yeah, not a lot. There's more jingle shells down there. Yeah. And uh, it's called Anomia. Is a, is a name of it, but uh, I think they also call them toenails, what, mermaid's toenails. Yeah, absolutely.